And I grew up out there where them dudes is from. I went to Hamilton Middle School, you feel me? I went to Nightingale Elementary, you feel me? All that. You feel me? Going to Red Sea. I grew up shopping at Kmart, you know what I'm saying? Going off Mariposa right there, you ain't feel me? Orlando's Market, you feel me? M&M's, New Grand Save, all that. You looking at some that they got it out the mud, baby. Got it out the mud, baby. We some mud babies, mud babies. What's happening, YouTube? Let's get right into this. Today's video, we're going to talk about these Stockton rappers, Stockton young legends coming out of Southeast to be exact, Southeast Stockton. Now, for some of you guys that are viewing this, some of you guys that are, that are subscribed to my channel, that may not be too much in tune with the hip hop world or the rap scene and what's going on and whatnot. There's a rap group out of Stockton, California that go by EBK. Now, there's a bunch of these dudes now. You got EBK j -Bo, EBK, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a bunch of little EBK dudes running around. When I say little, I mean, I say that as younger. You feel me? Because they're younger than me. They're the most popping thing coming out of the West Coast right now, to keep it real. They got the streets on lock. They got the streets on fire, and their sound is imitated throughout the entire country right now, especially the whole West Coast. A lot of people like to give credit to Briss, RIP to Briss, out of Sacramento, California. But even Briss's manager, who I believe is his actual brother or something like that, right, or someone from his neighborhood, but it was his manager that went on numerous interviews and gave credit to the EBK dudes and said Briss started rapping like that after he met and started doing music with the EBK dudes from Stockton. And now for those of you guys that know the EBK sound and know the EBK music and know how, how you know that, that sound that they got, it's unique. It's unique. It's different. Well, not no more because everybody's doing it, but that is a specific sound that originated from them specifically. And you have to give credit where credit is due. And like I said, these dudes did not only break the barriers from Northern California. As some of you guys may not know, Northern California has a little, little bit of a split between the Bay Area and the Valley. And especially when it came to music. Now, these dudes were able to not only break through that barrier... But also break through the barrier of Los Angeles. Someone from Northern California, it's very hard to get your music played in L.A. from the L.A. area. You know, historically, in the past, L.A. dudes just listened to L.A. music. Same thing with Northern California. Up here, we didn't listen to no one from L.A. We listen to Northern California music, specifically those from the Bay Area. You know, the Messy Marvs, the Jackas, Filthy Riches, Mac Dre's, E-40s, all that. Mozzie, Sebo, things like that, right? But now with these new artists, bro, they're able to break the barriers and break into that L.A. scene. Break into that L.A. music scene and to where you got dudes from L.A. even imitating their sound. Now, EBK j -Bo is probably one of the hottest rappers coming out of California right now period like overall beside like you know dudes like mozzie or something like that i mean shoot, he might have passed mozzie right now because you know mozzie went to prison for a year and his buzz kind of died down now ebk j -Bo's in prison i think doing a little over a year and mozzie's out and mozzie just dropped the album so we'll see how that goes but this video you know a lot of people wanted me to talk on this a lot i seen some of your guys' comments wanted me to touch on the topic because you guys know i'm from stockton about ebk j -Bo, how he just lost a brother due to street violence or whatever the case is uh i believe he lost his life in sacramento and you guys keep commenting and talking about how another ebk artist lost his life as well in stockton within that same week and i don't you guys know me man i don't like to talk about these certain topics Especially when it's fresh like this, you feel me? Because, you know, people are mourning, bro. People, you know, that that's fresh wounds. I mean, that's fresh wounds, you know? Them, them is real people. Them is real dudes. Them is real issues. Them is real problems. These is real streets out here. You know what I'm saying? And I grew up out there. You know what I'm saying? Where them dudes is from. I went to Hamilton Middle School. You feel me? I went to Nightingale Elementary. I went to Nightingale Elementary. You feel me? All that. I grew up right there. You feel me? Going to Red Sea. I grew up shopping at Kmart, you know what I'm saying? Going off Mariposa right there, you ain't feel me? Orlando's Market, you feel me? M&M's, New Grand Save, all that. And if you're from Stockton, then you know what I'm talking about, you feel me? Airport White. Man, if you're from Stockton right there in the southeast, the south area right there off airport, y'all don't know nothing about the bakery, though. Y'all don't know nothing about the bakery, though. Right there by the Dare Flame Warehouse, huh? 
It's in the cuts. Y'all don't know about it. We have to cross over airport to get to it. You feel me? But yeah, man, I'm just saying, no, instead of going into details and try to be a, a private investigator on YouTube and put together pieces for you guys to get entertained by what's going on in these Stockton streets or these Sacramento streets. Now, we ain't doing that over here, homie. That's not what we're doing. Um, what we're going to do is just give, you know, the EBK dudes they props. And rest in peace to the fallen soldiers that, you feel me, all through Stockton that lost their lives. Because it's really real out here, man. It's really not a game out here. It's really not a game in Sacramento. You feel me? It, it gets real. And there's a lot of talent out here, too. You know, the EBK dudes, they had, they're having a good push right now and i'm proud of them just because they're from the city you know what i'm saying i don't know them i mean i might know some of their partners might have went to school with them junior high school with them or whatnot but you feel me i don't i don't know them like that but salute to the ebk dudes in that whole camp for doing their thing but they're not the only ones i would i would like to say uh that's popping in stockton there's some other artists that's popping in stockton from the other side too that dudes that they may have issues with you know shout out to the mob like I said, I grew up out there, so I know a lot of people, you feel me? But at the same time, those ain't my politics. So that's why I stay out of it. You know, I shout everybody out. You know, salute to everybody doing their thuggy. Everyone has their politics. I stay in my lane. But as far as when it comes to this music, you know, there's talent on both sides. There's talents everywhere. You feel me? There's talent everywhere, bro. And Stockton is a melting pot of different cultures, different ethnicities, just different backgrounds, different gangs, different neighborhoods, different sets. Different, just a, just a mounting pot of talent. And I think that's why Stockton is one of the most popping cities on the West Coast in general when it comes to hip-hop right now. You know how you have these videos of dudes doing hood vlogs in L.A., doing hood vlogs in Chicago, New York, things like that? Now you got videographers from different states flying in to California just to go to Stockton and shoot a music, I mean, to shoot a hood vlog. You know what I'm saying? You got dudes from other states going into Stockton, grimy ass Stockton, to shoot hood vlogs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just because it's entertainment. People want to know what's going on in the city because their favorite that's where their favorite rappers are from. You know, some notable rappers from Stockton, and I'm not saying this just to be any political or choosing sides or nothing like that, because like I said, those ain't my politics. But some of the rappers that I see that are making some noise right now. That are dope. There's some dudes from the north. Shout out to Valverde Park dudes. You know what I'm saying? They making noise out there doing their thing. There's also a rapper named Bands from the south. I, I think he's from the south because he's always with MB now. You know what I'm saying? Always, he's a Mexican crip dude named Bands. He's always with MB now and all, all of MB now's music videos. I think he's from that camp. But he just dropped the music video and it go crazy. Shout out dude. Lil Adrian, Lil 1700 Adrian just got out, dropped some music, man. Shout out him. He's been going crazy. No, there's some other artists that I've seen that someone sent me their music. Because you know people send me music all the time. I want me to check it out and talk about it on YouTube and things like that. But bro, I be forgetting, you know what I'm saying? But man, I may leave some links in the description so y'all can go check out some new music from Stockton. From some artists coming out of Stockton. Y'all go check them out, man. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, and I'm gone.